All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. It's time to talk about the S24 Ultra uh, one month later. Uh, so I've been using this straight through for a month alongside other devices, but this has been uh, one of my primary devices of choice. Uh, and now I've added on to the uh, catalog with the S24 Plus, which I'm using to record this video with. So take note of that and let me know what you think about the quality. So today we're going to be talking about uh, owning this device for a month. And I didn't trade in my S23 Ultra because I just felt like it was too good of a device. I know the values decrease on these things. So we're going to start with price. Now, um, this device right here was a good value to me. The S24 Ultra was a good value to me uh, at the time I purchased. I originally ordered through Samsung, but uh, I opted not to. Uh, I canceled my order and then I went through my uh, Google Fi account. Now I only paid $650 for this device through Google Fi. I just pay for it outright. Um, you have the option. I think you can buy like monthly. I'm sure you can pay monthly for these on your Google Fi, depending on wh what your status is with Google Fi. But for price for me, I paid $650 out the door. I felt it was just worth it to wait and not get it from Samsung. Some of you guys got free cases and things like that. Well, I'd already had a bunch of cases, so it really didn't bother me too much not getting out that extra goodies that I gave up. I think it was like $150, but it just would have been a case and you know a screen protector, stuff like that. Um, but nonetheless, uh, $650 for this device is a steal. Uh, the, the price on this, um, I don't even know the regular price because it's, let me go back, let me go look. It's about 1500 for the regular price on this, I believe. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, uh, let me see, 512, so 1420 is the regular price on this, uh, like full, full price if you don't have any kind of promos or anything, 1420 bucks before your taxes. My taxes are pretty high where I live, uh, but I was able to get this for 650 plus taxes, it came to $701 for me. So I feel like in that ballpark, it's a win. I didn't do any trade-ins or anything. Uh, nothing just if you have Google Fi and you've been with them long enough, <clears throat> excuse me, they'll give you some pretty good deals that you just can't resist. And that was the case for me. 650 out the door. It's just a phenomenal deal for this particular device. So if you didn't have that promo, you probably did a trade in through Samsung and you had to give up a phone. You traded in your ultra, whatever you traded in, you did something probably to get this or you did pay that full price. But sometimes even if you don't do a trade in and you wait, you can get a good deal and because they'll discount the device at least two hundred dollars sometimes. And if you consider that to be a good deal, uh, depending on your budget and what you decide to budget for, you probably can get this phone for less than the asking price of MSRP. So for me, this was a phenomenal deal. I was willing to wait to go through five. Uh, and and get it so currently uh, through Fi, uh, it is just six hundred dollars off, I believe. But if it's the thing is, when I log into my Google Fi account, I've been with them since Pro Project Fi, so I have all these promos that prop up where I can get pretty much half off of everything when I look in there, and it gives me an expiration date. Um, but for me, currently, like if, just for example, I'm a, I'll move on from price. But if I go back in and want to get the S24s lineup, like the 24 plus I'm recording with or the 24, they're all pretty much half off for me. The Pixel 8 lineup, half off for me. And there's a catch to that since I'm not doing a trade in or anything. Uh, and you can do a trade in, mind you. You can do a trade in on these devices with Google. I just choose not to. Uh, but and you can pay monthly. I just choose not to. Uh, so currently, when I log in in this device now in my account, and just remember, it's going to be your account. It is, again, half off for me. So um, that's just how it is. But the catch is I have to stay active with this. I cannot move my SIM card. I can't take it out of the phone. I have to keep the service going on this phone for 120 days. Now, that used to be 30 days, but plenty of people caught on because Google Fi products are unlocked already from the factory. Like when they send them to you, this is just an unlocked S24 Ultra. So I definitely can just switch my SIM card out and use it for something else. Or I can add an eSIM to this as long as I don't remove my Google Fi SIM card from this or move my Google Fi service for 120 days. The phone is mine free and clear and I get to keep the half off price. But if I move it, 
they're going to charge me back the other money. So I've been with them so long and I've had the same number for so long and I've had the same service. I have no reason to move. It's a deal for a person like me because I have more than one phone number. So right now, when I log in and look at the price, it is now, it used to be 600 after I got my promo for 650. But it, in fact, now is again half off um, for the products. So the reason this is a 512 and not a 256 is because at the time of purchase, they were giving the, the memory upgrade bump. So this is a 512 for 650. Now, normally it will be. 770 or so or seven or half off would be about 700 plus 710 or something like that but it is 650 for this 512 because i got the memory bump so just to be clear on that you need to do your own research but i'm being very transparent and clear on you how this 512 gig was 650 so if you go into your account if i go into my account now it shows 650 for the 256 gig and 770 for the 512 because they're only giving 650 off Makes sense. And that's a, that's a good deal. So um, and, and a lot of the other devices are half off uh, or more than half off, actually. Like I, I can get an S24 plus for 400 bucks. All the deals are just different for each person I've learned uh, when speaking to people about this. But nonetheless, price is something that should be important to you when you're buying a smartphone. Uh, that should be that's probably going to be at the top of your list and what you think is value that you're getting. So value for this this phone hardware is what you're going to see next after you've decided on the price you know you're probably going to be looking at ooh, what does that look like and this device obviously looks very similar to the s23 ultra this does happen to be my blue one uh, which is the older design but still it's close in design but there's some uh, things that are subtle and different and i won't get into that in this video because i've kind of done that already but the hardware on here is I mean, more than adequate. This is a larger device. So if you're looking to get into something like a much the, one of the bigger screens that you can get, this is one of the most massive screens on the market today. Hands down. And it's not just a massive screen. It is a beautiful screen. I've gone over this multiple times and and showing you how beautiful the screen is. And I'll pop up a video once again. Now the brightness is set at about half and it, it, it's in, in this is in HDR. It's so beautiful, man. I mean, if you're looking for a very large display and you just want one of the best in the game, Samsung displays are on everything right now. I mean, they struck a deal with to get their panels on, on tons of devices and uh, you know, you can't blame them. So if you're wanting one of the best displays in the game, you are looking at it right now. This this display is absolutely great. I, I just don't have any complaints about it. Well, I have a, a few complaints about the device as a whole. I don't have any display uh, com complaints about the display. Uh, audio from the stereo speakers on here are just great. Uh, but aside from the display being big and beautiful, you do have this beautiful camera array back here. Now I've gone over the cameras multiple times, the setup here. I do have lens protectors on here, and let me show you here. You can kind of see how it's a little bit different on this one than the other one. This one right here, I took the lens protectors off. This would normally have a different color around the ring, a lighter tone, but it's completely pitch black, which I think is very sleek. But you have this camera array back here, and you have this nice soft touch matte feel uh, and they've definitely changed the hardware on here with the titanium now and it is uh, just a great uh, look i mean it's just it's just a phenomenal feel in hand uh with this titanium one i do have a tempered glass on the front of here just to be clear uh, but other than that i mean i haven't added anything to it sometimes i wear it in a case i'll throw on a rinky onyx case or just uh just any kind of leather case something just when i'm going outside for a little bit sometimes but overall i do not wear cases on the devices uh, sometimes even when i'm going outside so on the bottom here you can see the s pen now has been really flattened off uh, in comparison to what it used to be like on the previous generation it is very rounded on the s pen and on the its newer generation uh, it is 
flattened off. And I guess they, they you know, they, to me that just makes sense to have it flattened off like that. I don't know why it was so rounded off or bowled out a little bit. Maybe it's because I feel like you had to feel that it was there. But even now, you can still feel that it's there without even um, taking it out. It's just really flat and it, it feels good. So when you pop out the S Pen, this is a, a part of the hardware that's probably one of the main selling points for a lot of people when they think about buying this device. I would hope so. This is something that I've gone over a million times. If you're buying this device, you should be getting some use out of the S Pen. Now, how do I use this? Well, screen write is my favorite option of them all. But when I'm editing on here, when I'm editing in PowerDirector Pro, it is, it's got to be probably one of the just the, the easiest. Let me see if, I, if this files are still on here. Yeah, they're still on here. Getting in these little areas right here, just touching it. Like if I wanted to touch inside of here and, and get in it, that is where this S Pen for me really comes in handy and editing on this particular machine. So as you can see, this is my 15 inch MacBook Air M3 that I edited this video on this, this phone. I shot it with this phone and edited on this phone. Uh, and it, it, it's just a, it's just perfect for something like this tight spaces when my big hands can't squeeze in there. I got this little uh, pen right here that I can slide in there and get the work done. Simply put, that is one of the main reasons our main use case scenarios for me, especially as a content creator, that's going to come in handy. So not only the S Pen, you know, you, you do have um, type C fast charging. I really wish that now here's a here's a con for me for Samsung products and not just Samsung, pretty much all the phones that are out now besides one plus um, and just any of the international devices. They come with 120 watt chargers, fast charging in full from 100 to zero to 120, 30 minutes. Samsung still isn't there for some reason. Um, and that's something that I wish they would change. Give us a little bit more faster charging as does has the same as the um, the Ultra uh, 20, the 23 Ultra, you have that fast charging 2.0 where it's like really fast, but it's not that fast in comparison to other companies, uh, especially. And I can I can definitely bring up one plus because they're, they're doing it. They even have like even their slowest chargers of 65 watts still fast uh, and the phone can actually do it. So I think this one caps out at 45 watts or something like that. This should have been doing a hundred watt charging or 65 at least. Uh, but that is something that they don't do, but you do have type C, uh, data and, uh, you can do a display port out. Uh, one thing that's, uh, seldom talked about on this channel, but used frequently when I go somewhere and I find a use case scenario is decks. You have wireless decks, uh, you have wired decks. Uh, and it is just, uh, I recently put up a video, uh, with, with a, Dex laptop is specifically for Dex. Uh, and it's something that uh, people are wondering, like, what laptop is that? I've done a video on it. It's a keyboard combination for Dex. Uh, but um, maybe I'll follow up on it later. But I put a short up on that. So if you want to see that, go hit that short on my channel. But Dex is something that is extremely useful, especially to a person who might be doing a lot of data entry or a lot of uh, streaming or just a lot of things to where you can get a full keyboard in use and you don't want to be on this smaller screen because it is a smaller screen technically. But if you want a full size keyboard, there's a uh, I'll, I'll try to remember to leave a link down below to that product where it's pretty much turns this into a full blown computer in the laptop form, which I think is one of the best use case scenarios instead of having to use the screen as a touchscreen mouse and things like that. But nonetheless, Dex is always there. You've got the software suite where you can swipe over here. And again, you have the SPN suite. Uh, this, all these things that go into making this device great uh, are, are nice. Now, all that said, a lot of people uh, don't buy that, this phone for Dex predominantly, like consumers. They don't, they don't buy this for Dex, so to speak. They don't buy it for the S Pen, so to speak. They buy it for the beautiful display, the speakers, and another thing is the camera. Now, I'm gonna open up the camera. Open, let me see if I can get some things here, because I just do a lot of, let's actually, let's just show you here. This was, again, this was my uh, unboxing of my 15 
um, air. Uh, and this, this is the edited version. Let's go to the actual one here. Here it is. This is the actual footage here uh, that I did. And you can see here I shot it in 1080p at full HD. And then I edited it, dropped it out. I think I upscaled it to 4K. But the quality that comes from these cameras is just... It's unheard of. It's, it's such a good quality that Samsung products bring. I still have just a complaint about Samsung's HDR. It just doesn't look as good as, as um, uh, the HDR that comes from my Apple products. And it just doesn't look as good as the HDR that comes from uh, some of my uh, Pixel phones. Uh, but, you know, it's up to you to determine if that's what you want to... Um, uh, your, your, your take on quality is going to be what your take on it. I particularly don't prefer Sam, uh, Samsung's HDR content, but other than that, when I shoot straight like I'm shooting now with no HDR, just do 4K 60, it is absolutely stunning. Uh, it is really good. So the quality that you get from Samsung cameras, and just a reminder, I'm shooting with the S24 Plus right now of this Galaxy S24 Ultra, and the quality is the same. Like the main cameras give off the same quality. Now you do get some more features on the Samsung Ultra with the zoom uh, and things like that. But how often am I really going to use these cameras for that? Probably not very much. So cameras is a, is a huge part of why a person might buy this device. And let me go into some photos here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, here's one. Here's a photo that I took. <laughs> Uh, people were really, as you can see here, it was at 4,000 and 3,000. It was 12 megapixels, uh, and it was uh, done on in February. But this is a photo right here that people were like, whoa, that S24 Ultra is shining. And, I, you know, I just stood in the kitchen. I just come from Costco's, and, you know, I was cheating. I was having some coffee, and I wanted a blueberry muffin. And Costco's blueberry muffins are ridiculously good so as i look at this photo here i took the photo one snap and i posted it on social media because i want to show you exactly how great these cameras are and man, i gotta tell you this is again we're in a social media age and this is the primary use for a lot of people cameras 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 this is what people are doing with their phones they're taking photos and videos of their entire life and posting it online uh, I'm not exempt from this rule. I just don't post personal things online, but I post anything dealing with tech. Pretty much you can find it about me online, my cars. Uh, but yeah, I don't fall into the spectrum of putting um, I'm in the hospital or I um, broke my leg or uh, at this range. Yeah, I, I try to avoid putting a lot of personal stuff because I run a tech channel. But nonetheless, the point I'm making is we're in a social media age and everyone is posting everything about their life online. And so I always say, if you're going to do it, why not do it with one of the best cameras in the game? And that is the Samsung setup here. Their cameras are just ridiculously good, period. They're just good. So in their portrait game has really stepped up. Now, in the camera app, they still have the best camera suite, just one of the best, because they have director view, dual record, portrait video, pro mode, expert raw, Pro for photos, food. They have all these different things that you can possibly use on this particular device. And that's what makes this a creator's device. Now, I'm not saying that you have to be a content creator. You can just be a creator. Now, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Right now, there's really no need to buy a, a high powered camera like a mirrorless camera. My my Sony X6, A6100 is my favorite rig that I've ever set up. I hardly ever use it anymore. I hardly ever use it. The convenience of using a cell phone is getting more and more and more readily available for you to just, you don't even need to buy. And if you can get a phone like this for the price of a mirrorless camera, I say go for it. Just go for it because especially if you're, you're starting out as a content creator, this is one of the main devices I would definitely recommend to you. I recommend the iPhone 15 Pro Max, the iPhone 15 Pro, but the Samsung S24 Ultra, just, just the Ultra lineup, because you get that S Pen, in that respect, if you don't pull it out a lot, when you do pull it out, you can control your camera with it, you can take photos with it, you can record. That is how I take photos. Uh, I, I, do, I do our family photo every month 
with this phone, with this phone or the I was doing it with the Ultra 23 Ultra, but I've now started doing it with this device. And I got to tell you, having to be able to remotely shoot a video, remotely take a photo or anyone can do it. I, I give it to my granddaughter. Hey, you take the photo this time. It's just a fun. It's a it's a way to get involved. Uh, this device is way ahead of its time when it comes to a lot of things, but it, you don't have to be a content creator to use this device and create. It is that good. I'm telling you. God, all right. Okay. It is that good. I'm telling you. Cameras on here will take you all the way in to whatever you want it as far as you can use it until your device breaks. Now, Samsung is offering software wise, they're offering seven years of updates. Most the majority of the world does not keep their phone seven years per se, but I know a lot of well, I can't say I've got that backwards. Techies don't keep their phones that long, probably. Collectors, yeah, but you don't use them. But if it's your only phone, then you're gonna keep it until it breaks. And I have so many family members that have phones they're still using LG phones. They're just using phones until they, they don't work anymore. And that is where the majority of the world is. They don't have an expensive phone uh, and, and they're not willing to pay for that expensive phone. And they keep the phone until it just dies and they have to get another one because it is, it is not priority to switch every three months to the latest tech. We're the ones who do that. And we're the ones who have an abundance of phones. I have so many brand new phones that it's, you know, it's, it's overkill, but I do content creation and videos like this for you guys so you don't have to. So you get to see if it's something you might want. You know, bringing in the S23 um, Ultra every now and then and letting you guys know, should you have upgraded? Probably not. You know, there's some subtle changes that are much better than the S23 Ultra, but it's not worth changing. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not, you shouldn't switch. <laughs> so, um, the, the device itself, when it comes to the cameras, the software, the performance, um, it, it's just been great over the last 30 days. So Circle to Search is something that is introduced on here. Now, they focused on AI. This is Samsung's thing was, was AI they're, because they're running out of ideas, honestly. Hardware should not be plateauing like this. Uh, it should be, you know, because it should still be moving along. But companies are just not taking as many risks. Samsung was one of the first ones to take some major risks. And it paid off with the Galaxy Note lineup, then spawning into this, a combination of the S lineup and the Note lineup. So Live Translate, Note Assist, uh, Circle to Search. There's a lot of things in, in AI that they're focused on on here. But for me, it's just another phone. Do I use Circle to Search? probably four times since I've had this phone in 30 days. And it was just to show someone that it could do it or, or play, play with it myself and see, oh, that is cool. Um, I don't use it on any of the other phones regularly, but there might be a time where I could use it. Live Translate, I probably won't ever use that. Um, <laughs> it's just something, that's something that I would do regularly. Um, but the S Pen whipping it out, circling something like that in that respect to send it to somebody. Yeah, I'm going to do that probably almost every other day uh, because there's always something on maps. I need to show someone or something on a page. I want to show someone the S Pen functionality for me is high. So um, in the last month, what have I learned? I've learned that if I was a regular consumer, um, I probably would not have bought this if this was already my phone uh, and I would just buy me a new case, um, you know, I don't know. Just make sure it's working properly. That's it. Now, the last thing I want to touch on is the battery life. Uh, battery life for me has been really strong. Uh, it's still it's going to be strong like this because the device is still new. It's only a month old, so it should definitely be working properly. But. When I compare battery life between the S24 Plus and the S24 Ultra, the Plus is better just by a lot, just by a little bit, but it is better. And that is the main thing. This device has what a 5,000 mAh battery and the phone I'm recording what it was is the uh, S24 Plus it has a 4,900 
but the display on the S24 Plus is a hair smaller, just a little bit smaller in size, and then it also doesn't have the S Pen suite. But other than that, this is, you know, it has it doesn't have the extra cameras, but it's ultimately the same phone. I've got it at the Quad HD and everything like this one, um, and I have it on. Do not I have the battery saver on because I don't want all those messages to come in. But typically, I just have it. Uh, just I've got like seven emails on each phone. They're synced to each other. I did the backup from this phone to my S24 Plus, so they're they're set up identical. Uh, but battery life on here, you will make it through. I can say this with confidence: for as long as you're not gaming and just being on the phone all day. Like if you were to just play on this phone all day, you probably could get 14 hours of screen on time, probably 12 hours of screen on time, and then you have to charge it right away. But you will get a full 24 hours. I'm going to go ahead and push it to 36 hours. You'll get a full 36 hours out of this phone, depending on who you are. Most people, if you don't run your screen at 100% brightness, I don't run my screen at 100% brightness. I keep it on auto. Uh, so depending on the lighting situation, it's going to adjust itself. And then I have all notifications turned on. I have it to Quad HD. I have it all set up that way. Uh, but I use I have a lot more phone calls than anything like um, I'm on social media. The screen is typically on or whatever, but it's not a lot. It might be viewing content and stuff like that, but I don't do any gaming on my phones really like regularly. Um, I just don't. It's, it's a lot of phone calls and phone calls can drain your battery. But one of the main things to drain your battery is using the camera. And when you use the camera app a lot, like I do, it, it can drain the battery. So a person won't use it that much like I do, probably. So you can get 36 hours out of this device with confidence. I can tell you that there'll be people that chime in in the comments and say, oh, Jay, I can go three days with mine. But what's your screen on time? My screen on time on this device is just under about six and a half hours, roughly seven hours of screen on time. And on the 24 plus, I can easily get seven hours and go past 36 uh, hours of, of uh, standby or whatever. So that's where the the 24 plus has a little advantage it can go past 36 hours with ease seven hours this phone i've comfortably gotten six and a half to seven uh, on every single charge and it can go about 36 hours and then i start to think okay i probably need to charge it but battery life as I always stated it depends on you you are the one who are going to determine how your battery life is and you know you're just going to be the one to Choose whether your battery dies sooner or later. It's up to you. But there's no getting around it. You are going to have to charge this device. Uh, and that's just that. Personally, I charge mine only when it needs to be charged. And social media is social media. The social media thing, a lot of devices are used on social media. So that's what drains the battery a lot. But, you know, the battery life is, is, is such a complicated subject that people get into saying, well, you can't do that when you when you actually can. Tons of people can go three or four days with this device. It doesn't matter that they don't have a high screen on time. It's they're getting the screen on time when they need it, which is why I don't like to measure screen on time. I like to go by the time off the charger. That's just personally how I like to measure a battery. So let's close out here. Um, we covered a lot. Uh, and I'm going to say this is definitely a win for me because I did get it for 650 with no trade in. I still have the pleasure of keeping my S23 uh, Ultra, which I do use to record predominantly on the channel now with the 15 Pro. Uh, but I rotate now the quality between all my Samsung products, the 23 lineup, the 24 lineup, they're all the same. So, you know, with the 24 being just a hair difference, it better. But I mean, I'm recording with the 24 Plus and I'm sure it's phenomenal quality. But ultimately, the 24 Ultra is for that person that just really wants the best of the best from Samsung. And it's a shame I'm not saying the best of the best and holding up my uh, holding up my Z Fold 5 or my Z Flip 5, because those are some very expensive products, but they're folding devices and they're not typically common for a lot of people. So. But slab phones are still winning. They'll always win, pretty much. And this is just what it is. So if you want Samsung, if you consider the Samsung's best of the best, give it all to you, that's going to be the S24 Ultra because it has the S Pen suite, the biggest display, the best cameras, so to speak. This is it. But I'll be following up with the phone I'm recording with shortly. 
uh, when I get some more time with of use with it, the S24 Plus, because that is the real winner here. But it's your man Jay, hope you guys enjoyed. The S24 Ultra is Samsung's best offering, and I can't deny them. This, once again, is a hit. It's your man Jay. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.